So welcome back to Visual Bucket 5.2.0 Build Times, where we are now building plugins that you guys suggest from the ideas section in my Discord. If you guys want to join my Discord, then go down in the link down below. So these are going to be more of like intermediate tutorials, I guess, where we're going to actually just build a plugin and use it. Okay, so this first one we're going to do is a manhunt. Uh, I've had lots of people ask for manhunt, and so here is what it is. So you're playing on your lovely Minecraft server, and you want to start tracking your friends <laughs> you type slash compass their name and I'm the only person playing so this is just gonna work on me because I'm all alone in this little lonely world but it's okay so we play it and as soon as you right click and interact with it it is going to start pointing to the last place that that was tracking almond branch it's gonna go to the last place no matter where I'm at let's say we're right in the middle of this tree we press click it's always going to point right to the middle of that tree. Perfect, yeah, let's go see how you build it. So here it is already built. I'm going to start from scratch and just show y'all everything that I did. So first thing we do is we wanna start with the command. So we start with the command slash compass. And you can put an alias and description, all that stuff if you want to, but I'm not going to. So we're going to use add item to inventory. That way it's not just dropping it in the world. I was using that for a long time and I found that it's better to just add item to inventory. Add item to inventory. Whose inventory? We're going to get the inventory holder. Hold Holder. And the inventory holder is the person who is holding that inventory. So in this instance, we want the command sender. He is the one holding this, and we're going to give him the item, a list. It's asking for a list. We're going to go new list. In that list, we are going to add a new named item, new named item stack with material compass. And the name we are going to have be the first argument. So it's the thing that's happening after the slash compass is the word the, that the name is going to be. If you guys want to know more about command arguments and all that stuff, I have a video and I'll link it down in the description below. So the name is command argument index starting at zero because command argument start at zero. So now it is going to give an item named the name of the player that is a compass. All right, so now we have to do a player interact. So every time they interact with it, player interact. So now we need an if statement because we want to see if they are interacting with a compass. Right click insert equals. If the player interacts, scroll down here to the material that they are using is the material a compass. Then we first want to get the item meta of that compass and we want to save it as a local variable. So set a local variable. We're just going to call this local variable meta. So inside this variable meta, we want to get item meta from the item stack. What item stack? It's the item stack that the player interact is interacting with. Get the item that the player is interacting with. Okay. So that's the first step. Now we need to actually start setting this compass. So we're going to look up a lodestone. And so we want to set this lodestone. This compass meta is the same meta that is what we are interacting with. So we can just put in the local variable meta and the lodestone location is the entity location and then click the, the different options and just take the entity. And we want the player, because that's who we're looking for. And it's the player with the name that is the same name as the compass that they are interacting with. And that's the reason why we give it the name of the person. So that way we can take that name and actually set it in this lodestone. So the name is the item meta get display name. The display name of what item meta It's the meta that we've been using, the local variable, the local variable of meta. Okay, so now we need to set the lodestone tracked and it's pretty much gonna be the same thing. So we'll need the local variable of meta and is it track, right click, insert Boolean and you set it to false. To be honest, I don't know why you set it to false, but when I set it to true, it just didn't work. So. I would set it to false if I were you. Next, we need to actually attach this I this new item meta to the item that we had. So item meta, not item meta. We're gonna go set item meta. There we go. Item stack set item meta for what item stack is going to be the player interact, player interact, get item, the item that they interact with, and the meta is going to be the local variable meta. And we are so close to being done. So this would actually work right now, but we want people to know 
hey, you are tracking this person. So we're going to use message, command sender, send message. So the command sender is just who is getting the message. It doesn't always have to be the command sender. It's just whoever is getting this message. Click on the three lines and we're going to go down to string. So now the message we can write in a string. So the command sender is the player interact, get the player from the player interact. And the message we're going to right click and we're going to say insert combined string. So now both of these lines are gonna show up on the same line. And so you're not sending like two separate things in the chat. The first one we're going to put tracked, something like that, put a couple spaces. And then the second one we are going to put what the name of the person they are tracking. So it's the same person as the get display name, copy, come down here, paste it, and we're done. That's, that's everything that I used to make this thing work. So build it and test it. So for all you people that are new here, the way that you go about building stuff is you come over here to plug in settings and you start plugging in, you start typing out all of the stuff. So the name is going to be compass point manhunt, whatever you want to call it, version, whatever version you want to call it, whatever the author in the description, all this stuff you can fill out. And then you come down here to this hammer icon and you say build plugin. It's going to run through everything that it's going to run through to do whatever it's going to do. And after that is finished building, you can come over here to this output directory jar file, open it up, and this will be right here, the compass point. This is where you will be able to put this inside of the plugin folder inside your server, and you're good to go. So right back into Minecraft. After we have loaded this stuff in, we can go slash compass, player's name, and it gives me a compass as soon as we right click it. And there we go, perfect. And so it's tracking us every single time we click on it. And so you can have more than a couple people in here and it works out really well. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. Come join my Discord if you have any plugin ideas. We are going to start this new series of build time. Also, I'm starting to live stream and we are working on an auction house plugin in the live stream right now for my server. So you guys should come check that out as well. And...